The older generation hoped their young women would stay within the close circle. But our generation encouraged our girls to step out. My advice is, ignore the instructions you've been given. They'll not always be correct. Born in Tring, schooled in Tring, married in Tring. He was a Welsh man, my father. That's why I sing so beautiful. Dad was killed. I was seven. We lived in Ponder's End. An officer came to the house. Still got the letter, crumpled up now. My mum is my heroine. Made light bulbs in Dalston. Had a big family. All living in one house. I got TB when I was 11. Mum paid seven and six for a prescription. TB was rife in those days. I was born in 1935 in the ancient geographical area of Decorum 100. I consider I've had a fulfilling time living my whole life in the rural tree area. It's given me such a sense of belonging, especially during the lockdown. My mother is my heroine, always will be. Widowed at 39, worked in a munitions factory, raised two children. In 1941, the house was bombed and Dad was killed. Me and Mother were buried alive for three days. Came out, not a scratch. In my 90s now. I remember me and my three siblings in a Morrison shelter. We were in South London and Mum used to watch the bombs dropping. We used to put on shows and tap dance on the top of the shelter. We lived in a rundown estate in London and we were offered a home in the country and we chose Hemel Hempstead. Came here because there was a place to live. A house. You made sure you paid the rent and you got a roof over your head. There were jobs here. And if you got a job, you got a house. We were thinking of moving and my husband said, Hemel Hempstead. There's a lot of green down here. My mum is my heroine. Born 1933. Came to England in 1966 due to the UK labour shortage. One of seven, born in poverty. Worked in a factory. Knew her own mind. She was outspoken. My sister was the first in our family to go to university. My daughter didn't like school, wanted to travel, had itchy feet. My dad started off as an electrician. He was in the Charo Marches, 1936. <sighs> 16 years old, <laughs> crashing out in the fields, sleeping in the barns, got to Park Street, met mum. Mum worked making stockings. I was born and bred in St Albans. Had a toilet in the shed, lino floor, a tin bath by the fire. I went in first, then all my brothers. We ate our toast with a fork. Now I'm on my own, I feel I've got it in me to make up my own mind, to make decisions. You can do anything. Remember that. I've not really admired any women. The suffragettes? No surrender. Amy Johnson. She's the one, she's the one. Uh, a pilot. She crossed the Atlantic in a little plane, dealt with judgment from others, lost at sea. My mum brought me up on her own, worked in munitions in World War II, struck in the face at work, survived. Evacuated to Luton, I went out to work, made sailor's hats during and after the war. My dad was as tight as anything. I remember being sat in the front room. My dad's pay pocket fell. I went to pick it up. My mum said, don't touch that. My poor mum. She worked in a factory and had to leave at 6 a.m. My mum had six children. I was the eldest. I was very close with the twins. I looked after them. I was ten and a half. The way she looked after us. She was always there for us. She worked at Kodak. She worked at night. My mother worked very hard. My dad got killed in the war. She used to press gold into bowler hats. My brother and I used to meet her after school at work. Mum used to put me under the stairs in the air raid. What gift would I like to pass on? Be yourself. Plough your own furrow and make sure you and your family are safe. 
Travel the world while you still can. And remember, don't look down, don't look back, eyes right ahead and keep straight on. A heroine stands up for what she believes in. Helps with her community. Doesn't have to go around the world, be famous. But she is making a difference, however small that is. Resourcefulness, determination. We learned this from our mothers and our aunts. They were women of courage, 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 women made of steel. They were women of courage, 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 made of heart and fire.